In this video, I'm going to show you where to hide if you want to stay in this room and kill the Black Blade Kindred. So, this is the Bestium Sanctum that I'm in. And this gentleman stands outside. He generally will list stand guard and doesn't aggro unless you mess with him. Uh, so, if you're going to stay in this building and use like a long range attack or keep, uh, you know, waiting for him to reset and take some swipes at him, it's very important that you stay behind that second column. So, here I'm running back. I just threw a firebomb, which is probably not the best attack because I don't believe it damages him. So, he's already knocked down this whole side of the room. He's very mad. And if you stay right here, you just saw the little howling scream he did. Uh, that will not touch you, obviously. Uh, the one in front of me, I don't, you, you, I don't know if you can tell that column. If you stand there, he can do a melee attack, and then he'll do a larger howling scream. And that one will uh, definitely get you behind columns. So, very important that you stay behind this. So, you know, if you want to, um, you know... Take some time, uh, you know, and, and knock this guy out. Uh, you know, get the gargoyle, uh, you know, sword and halberd. And I think it's about 90 grand. Uh, this is how you do it. So what I did, so how I got involved in this is I, I sort of, uh, you know, started shooting arrows at this this dude. And uh, went down a rabbit hole and it took a lot of time. But um, so at that point I got sucked in and I had to do it. But, uh, yeah, basically arrows and bone arrows and uh, just trying out different things. Um, I really didn't look up anything going into this. I uh, probably should have. But if you have, like, the great bow or, like I said, if you, you know, got the sorcery or whatnot uh, or you just want to run out and swipe at him, at least you know where you can hide. So let's skip ahead and watch the kindred go down. So finally on the third sneak out where I think I'm going to kill him, I finally get him. So I'm getting as close as I can with these arrows. I didn't even check how many I had left. Oh, I only got, I'm down to seven. And there he goes. The kindred goes down. And it drops the gargoyle black blade and the halberd. And if I pull up my equipment here, we can take a look and see what we got and all. So, 88,000, not too shabby. Uh, definitely a cost-effective process as far as using the bone arrows and the arrows. Um, I think I had 90 of the bone, thin bone, animal bones, uh, so I had to make a lot of bone arrows. But anyways, here's the uh, halberd, and um, you can see it scales with uh, strength, faith, and where is that? Sword. You sell some of this stuff. See, I've been farming that um, that bridge down the road from here. So here's the black uh, blade and scales with strength and faith. So there you have it. If you want to uh, try this method out, now you know. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. If, if you found this video useful, drop me some love. Maybe that's up. Thank you for watching again, and I will catch you guys next time.